on my channel Nutan Online Study. So today, once again, we are going to make lesson plan. And topic today would be synthetic fiber. And this is for class 8. So let's see how to make lesson plan on this particular topic. But before that, I have request, if you do not have subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe, like and share it as well. So that you can get notification of all my videos. Now let's see how to make lesson plan format. So this is for class 8. And uh, first you have to write name of your school. Then class is 8. Date, subject is science. And topic is synthetic fiber. Previous knowledge. So for previous knowledge we have to write what student is aware of. So, student is already aware of many types of fibers and fabric because this topic, fiber and fabric, is there on class 7. So, they already know me about many types of fibers and fabrics and how we can obtain fiber and fabric form. They already know about that. So, we have to assume that student has, the student is already aware of all this fabric and fiber. So students already know about many types of fiber and fabrics and they know many types of natural fibers that they have already learned in class 7th. Okay, now let's see. General aim. So for general aim, we have to write what we want to teach to students. Okay, so we want to teach to them about synthetic fiber and its types okay so to enable them to understand what is synthetic fiber and its types we want to let them know what is fiber how they are made up of but they have already learned in class 7 so today we are going to tell them about synthetic fiber or handmade fiber that has been made by humans to let them know an advantage and disadvantage and properties of synthetic fiber. So we want to teach them what is the advantage of synthetic fiber and what is the disadvantage of using synthetic fiber. Plus we want to tell them the properties of synthetic fiber. Next is specific objectives. So this would also be the same like general aim here also we have to write what we want to teach to students so you can see here to let them know synthetic fiber sorry uh, what is how it is obtained types of synthetic fiber advantages and disadvantages of synthetic fiber means we want to teach all these points to students now after that teaching aids teaching aids so for teaching aids we have to write whatever uh, teaching aids we are going to use while teaching our lesson so here i have mentioned chalk duster model flex chart chart you can you can mention whatever teaching aids you are going to use okay so like this we have to write the first paper or first uh, first paper of our lesson plan now moving on to our introduction question so as you already know that we have to ask question to student also before announcing our topic we have to ask four to five question to students and not more than that maximum question should be five question okay so first question we can ask to student is what is fabric and how it is made so they have already learned that in class 7 so they can easily answer that fabrics are made up of made from fibers okay so where is fiber obtained from so we have to ask where we can where we uh, from where we can obtain uh, these uh, fibers so they will tell that fibers can be obtained from plants or 
animals they will answer this third question would be give some example of natural fibers so they will answer cotton wool silk etc they, they will easily answer that because obviously they they are aware of that a fourth question would be describing your own words what is natural fiber so we have to ask describe your own word what are natural fibers so they will try to describe that and the last question would be have you have heard about synthetic fiber and its types or we can ask have you heard about handmade fibers and can you tell me its types so this would be problematic okay so here we have to announce our topic so how will we announce that here you can see uh, students today i am going to teach you topic synthetic fiber so we have to announce our topic and after that we have to write the same topic on the blackboard also okay and after that we have to uh, teach to students for of for uh, for like five to six minutes okay so this is presentation one so here we will teach them about synthetic fiber you can see whatever i have right here we will have to teach to students mm, what is synthetic fiber synthetic fiber is a chain of small units joined together many small units combined to form a large single unit called polymer so we have to write whatever uh, whatever thing is means we have to highlight to students we have to write it on blackboard and we have to write it here also here is types of synthetic fiber you can see there are three types of synthetic fiber so first we will teach only two rayon and nylon and we have to explain them properly okay so here i have write that i have write only in three to four lines you can add little bit more into this now after explaining them properly means after we have done explaining to students we have to ask a question related to that so i have added here three question only you can add four to five question so we have to ask a question to student also after explaining them properly first is what is polymer what is rayon and what is nylon this would be our question and we have to ask this question one by one to students and students will answer all the questions okay so these are the answer that we expect from students now here you can see our blackboard work okay so we have to write definitions or examples on the blackboard also so you can see here types of synthetic fibers rayon nylon polyester and acrylic we have to write it like this after this presentation second so for presentation second we have to explain the rest part of it so polyester and acrylic that is also a type of synthetic fiber okay so we have to explain it properly what are polyester and what are acrylic we have to explain them properly you can see here i have write all this and we have to explain to students after that we can explain characteristics of synthetic fibers they dry up quickly durable less expensive readily available easy to maintain so like this we can explain everything properly to students okay and after that means after explaining so this is our blackboard work you can see okay now explaining them properly we have to ask a question related to that so you can see question here i have added here three question Na name one popular polyester what is polycot what are characteristics of synthetic fibers so we have to ask a question to students okay and these are the answer that student will give to us okay here is recapitulation so for recapitulation we can ask whatever we have to teach to students so i have added here five question what is polymer how many types of synthetic fibers are there what is acrylic give example what are characteristics of synthetic fibers what are disadvantages of synthetic fibers so like this we can ask a question to students after explaining them properly at last we have to ask a question 
uh, two students okay so i have added here five question and do not add uh, more than that maximum question should be five question only and here is our home assignment so after explaining them properly teacher have to give home assignment to student also for the perfection of their knowledge okay so this was my lesson plan okay on the topic synthetic fiber and my next uh, video would be on plastic so next video we will learn how to make lesson plan on the topic plastic okay so if you like my video please do not forget to like share and subscribe it okay we will meet in next video till then bye bye and take care